We started uh, 100 years ago as practical arts and then we became industrial arts and then we became technology education and now really the term is uh, emerging once again into technology and engineering education because more of the content that we teach is along the engineering line. Albeit, we still do a lot of the hands-on uh, approaches using lasers and CNC machines and, and 3D printers and, and it's, it's just amazing the transformation that has and continues to happen and you walk into classroom after classroom after classroom here or in the schools and it's fun. Whether it be robotics or whether it be wood shop or metal shop or working on cars, whatever it may be, or working on the you know working in CAD, working on the computer, you know that's what you get to do. That's what you get to come to school for. You're not you know sitting there watching people write stuff on the board and falling asleep, and you know you get that that hands-on experience with those with those things that you really enjoy. Like you take an idea and you build upon it. So a kid isn't stuck behind a textbook. He's not stuck behind a projector taking notes, but he's actually hands-on building something, putting theories to work. If you're talking alternative energy, is what a windmill is all about, and solar energy, and you're not just looking at it from that aspect is here's pictures of it, you're going to say, okay, now we're going to build one and we're going to test it. We're going to see, you know, how it works. What we learn in Buff State, we can bring into the classrooms, in high school classrooms or middle school classrooms, and they can learn from an early age that you can take anything and build upon it. Long-term education has been one of the staples of our society. And I find this to be most important. You're going to impact thousands of people as a technology teacher. And as you look in classrooms today, technology is everywhere. No matter what classroom you go into, there's going to be technology, and kids are interested in learning more. As a career, you hear about job opportunities all the time. The reality is there's a huge shortage of technology education teachers. There are more jobs in New York State than we have teachers to fill them with respect to technology education right now. Every one of our graduates continues to get a job, and the same for our colleagues in Oswego. We have, in the last 13 years from Buffalo State, placed technology education teachers in 35 different states, including Hawaii. Think about the, the people entering the, the you know, program now, what their careers are going to hold as technology continues to evolve. One of the really neat advantages that New York State has are two programs with great new facilities and equipment that really enable um, people to learn and prepare to be technology education teachers in ways that nobody, no place else in the country uh, has the capacity that we have. And we have a new $40 million building here. Our colleagues at Oswego have a, a, a huge uh, new construction and, and renovation as well. And essentially you have two totally new uh, programs with millions and millions of dollars of, of new equipment. With the new building, the new technology building at Buff State, there's definitely just new machines. Kids are coming in here and they're, they're finding new computers, smart grid classroom, the different CNC machines, different laser printers. They're all here, they're all up and running. There's so much faculty that is, has knowledge about them that if you had a question, there's at least three teachers that can answer it with equipment and processes um, that are brand new, that are cutting edge, that in an environment that is second to none. When you choose a college, you should really choose a program that fits your personality. You have such an individualized ed education here that you start with your own knowledge and you build upon it and you learn from others because everyone comes in with different backgrounds. Some people are straight from woodshop, other people are from media, and you come in and you have to learn everything. And if I'm good at one thing and so-and-so is great at another thing, we can build on our education together. And that really creates a strong community. That emulates what a technology teacher does in the classroom. You're going to leave here and as technology emerges, you're going to be responsible for updating your proficiency and knowledge of that technology. Coming to school every day is fun. You know, it's not boring. It's not, you know, I gotta get up and come to school. You know, you're excited about it. You're excited about your classes. You know, it's a, it's a small group. There's not a ton of kids here, but that's great because, you know, we really, those of us who are in the program who've come up through it, you know, we're like a family. Buffalo State. Uh, 
us we go, you're going to encounter an environment that is a model for the future of technology education. So I uh, really encourage people to consider going into technology education and experiencing this, the, the new facilities and new environments that we have, absolutely phenomenal for, for the future.